Ireland is Nasser Sheikh and I'm a Chartered Certified Accountant at Hoffman & Gohan, a firm based in Nicewich, London. Our today's topic of discussion is your personal blueprint to success. Um, I'm not talking about success in your business and it is fair to assume that you may already be an expert in running your business. Instead, I'm talking about a success in every aspect of your life, may it be a, su uh, a success in business or achieving any other goals in life. Um, I always like to keep things simple and instead of using complicated jargon that may make me look like a learned one while losing you in the middle. I'll just use real life example that almost every one of us uh, can relate to. So let's get cracking, shall we? Um, I'm sure all of us have uh, planned trips, maybe an overseas trip where you had to plan for the travel tickets to accommodation or if it is a local trip where Google Maps were used. The chances are most of us usually map out our trips before we leave our homes. Nothing new here, is it? However, the question I would like to ask here is if we, if we put similar efforts when planning the also important aspects of our lives. Similar efforts. Make a grocery list when you go grocery shopping, uh, shopping, but have you made a list of what would you like to achieve in life in the next five years? Plan your journey from little things like keeping a toothbrush to having uh, enough clothes for the trip. Then why do we have wishy-washy goals when it comes to our lives? You see, if you just walk out of your house without knowing where to go, then you may end up getting nowhere, which is not very different than starting a new job or a business and hoping to be successful by just going with the flow. Imagine a ship without a rudder. Do you think it can get you or it can get to its destination? You may be wondering, what does the rudder, the Google map, or even the crossroads has to do with your success in life. You need to say, start with an end in mind, which stands true when you plan a trip, you always have a destination as an end in mind, and the chances are, the nine out of 10 times, you'll get to your end in mind, which is your destination. It is possible that you may bump into hurdles like uh, uh, traffic delays, plane plane delays, a flat tire, or a block road, but you do not give up the trip when you have a flat tire and decide to abandon your trip. Instead, work around it by maybe calling the roadside assistance, calling on an Uber, or taking a detour. In most of the cases, we end up to our destination because we have an end in mind. You wouldn't give up getting home at the end of the day no matter how many hurdles you face, but how many of us have planned our lives in a similar fashion? The million dollar question here is, do you have an end in mind when it comes to goals in life? By just saying that you will be rich, or success, uh, rich and successful or successful um, after five years, it's like saying that you will reach to the country you're planning your trip to or get to an area where you're living in. It is just part of your journey, a part of your goal, but not your ultimate goal in life. You need to plan your life precisely as you plan your trip. You need to know where you would be uh, in the next six months instead of five years, exactly as you start your trip, uh, but planning to reach to the airport on time. You may now be wondering, the life does not go in accordance with the plans, but as discussed before, that you do not abandon your trip when you bump into issues, but instead you improvise. It is correct that it may take you a little longer to reach your goals, as it takes you to reach home when there are delays in public transport, but you do not decide that today you will not go home because of the delay. If you do not do that, then why do you abandon your plan when it comes to other aspects of life? If you go and ask the next 10 people you meet on why do they work every day, the chances are that 8 out of 10 will respond by saying because it is part of the life and everybody works, or they work to pay their bills. Instead, 
If you ask a traveler on why does he or she is traveling to a particular destination, then they would answer you with a precise reasoning and their answer would not be because everybody is traveling to the same destination. When our reasons of going to a destination is not the same, then how could our reason to work or being in a business to be the same as anyone else's is? How do you expect to get to where you want to be when you do not have the end in mind? What would be the difference between you and a ship without a rudder as both of you will be dependent upon outside circumstances which we so conveniently blame when the fault lies with us? You see, if I was selling a book, then I would stop it here as a teaser, but no video could be concluded without giving some helpful suggestions. Um, if you're a student, then ask yourself that do you, what do you love to do the most, like you would ask yourself where would you love to travel? The answer is never simple, but trust me that you will spend time on it if your life was dependent upon it. For example, if you want to be a chartered accountant, then don't just jump into the profession, but instead speak to, uh, to people who have already traveled this journey the way you would read the reviews of a particular destination. Try working for an accountancy firm before you make the decision the same way you would try a pair of jeans before making a purchase. If you're going into a particular business, then do your research instead of expecting to be successful only because your next door neighbor in the same business is successful. Plan with an end in mind by making smaller plans spans over six months instead of wishy-washy thinking. If you could not achieve your goal in the next six months, then tweak your actions the way you would take an Uber or take a detour, but do not give up exactly the way you will not give up if you want to get home. You see, the outside circumstances may slow you down, but if your ultimate goal is as important to you as reaching home by the end of the day, then the circumstances has absolutely no say in it. Yes, they may delay you, but by having an, an end in mind, you will precisely reach to your destination exactly where you have an end in mind. On this note, I will conclude my video. Uh, please feel free to provide me with your opinion, which I'm sure to include in my next video. Till next time, I wish you a wonderful week ahead and uh, have a great rest of your day. Thank you very much.